Today we're taking a look at the brand new Jouer Paris eye paints. These ones right here. I'm excited for this because the company hasn't actually dropped a brand new product in a while. And of course, Jouer, it's one of my favorite blushes, one of my favorite highlighters of all time. And now they have eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. And I'm excited for this because if you guys know, if you're an OG to the channel, I love the Stila liquid eyeshadows. I would wear those every day when they came out. Like I loved that brand. So this I'm excited for. So the company came out with four shades. I've got all four of them right here. So I'm going to swatch them for you guys. This is the light pink shade. Okay, that's shimmery. That's really pretty. So this is the champagne color. Oh, that's gonna be my favorite right there. That's beautiful. These are very creamy, very silky to go on. This is that Merlot plum shade. Okay, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely stunning for the fall winter season. All of those together would make one hell of an eye look. Maybe we'll do that. And lastly, we have this beautiful earth toned, kind of a coppery brown chocolate color. It's beautiful. I don't even want to say copper. It's more of a chocolate champagne. Yeah chocolate champagne that's what i'm gonna call this like this is stunning i i love all of those like those are so beautiful and that wipes off so easy yeah so you do have some workability because it didn't dry down completely so i like that about the product because then you're able to blend it out as a cream shadow should be according to the sephora website it says apply using finger or brush Wear alone or over a matte shadows to make your eyes pop. All right, guys, we're going to play with this both ways. I'm just going to play with it. I'm going to show you guys how this performs, how it wears, and of course, just the beauty of this shimmer, right? Before applying, I'm going to suggest that you guys have your blending brushes ready because I don't know how fast this is going to dry down. So I don't want you guys reaching for your brushes. Definitely have at least two brushes on hand to blend out. So I'm using these two brushes right here. So this is actually a Jaclyn Hill by Morphe. This is a JH40. I like this one because it's stiffer but pliable. It's just a really nice little blending brush. And then this one is actually a P. Louise brush and there's no number on it. But this one's just a very soft blush brush for blending it out just so you can really get in there and blend out that cream shadow. So to apply this, I'm just going to go straight out of the bottle onto the eye. That is a lot of product on the wand. I'm just going to start with the center of the lid. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. I'm going to work towards the inner corner. I'm just covering the lid. Oh my gosh, I love that color. Like that is stunning. I'm going to start with my Jaclyn H JH40 brush to blend this out. And I'm just going to take that and just blend around the socket area just to soften those lines. I'm gonna go in with the softer brush, which is the P. Louise. And I'm just going to in light circular motions just blend out that shadow bring that right into the inner corner and just blend that out oh my gosh that is stunning and easy how long did that take me like what three seconds <laughs> 10 seconds like that is stunning now around my kind of eyelash line i'm just going to take this brush and just blend that just a little bit I feel like we have a lot of product right there. Okay, that works amazing. The color is absolutely stunning. I feel like you could totally go in with like a darker base and add this on top and that's going to pop 100%. So I am going to do that in the next look. But for this look, I'm just going to finish this off with this color and I'm going to be right back to show you guys the finished look. So it turned out gorgeous with incredible workability time before it actually dried down completely what i would recommend is that this does take a solid minute to dry down so make sure it's completely dry down before you go in with a liquid line because i had a little bit of difficulty with that that's something i would totally recommend just give it a minute and then you're good to go 
For look number two, we're going to place this on top of a matte eyeshadow, just like the directions says. So I chose a Natasha Denona. This is the light version of the Glam Face Palette. I'm going to go in with the color Crease. And this is just a Smith brush, which is a number 232. I love this brush. I'm going to just apply this here to my crease and just really work that in all the way to the inner corner and blend that out. This is just gonna give some definition with that shimmer underneath, which is gonna make it pop. Now I'm also gonna go in here with the color Smoke, just to deepen up that corner. All right, so I really love how that turned out. Now you will keep on blending with a clean blending brush just to kind of get rid of any harsh lines. So we're just gonna grab a blending brush, just like this, and I'm going to just blend out that crease. So now I'm going to go in with, at first I thought this brown right here, the brown one, but I'm thinking the burgundy right here, this beautiful more low color. Okay, I love that. I am gonna go in, start right here on the center of the lid. Yes, that was the right choice. I'm gonna go all the way into the inner corner. Now, my biggest tip to you is when you're applying this, don't go past your crease line because it is a cream shadow and it's very, very, very pigmented it's very metallic you don't want that all the way up to your brow you could but you know it's yeah it'll get messy really fast so I'm gonna go in with that same blending brush that we were using and starting at the inner corner in windshield wiper motions I'm just blending that out again this is a darker shade and I'm just using the one brush so the blend over top of the matte shadows was impeccable. I loved it, it just blended out amazingly. And I love the gradient that you get with using the matte shadows underneath. This looks beautiful. Now you can go even deeper, darken this up, make it a really dramatic smoky eye, apply some liner to the lower lash line and really smoke this out. You could even apply a little bit of this with a tiny pencil brush to the lower lash line if you wanted to do a little inner corner pop of a metallic shade for fall. I think that would also be really pretty, but I kept it kind of simple for today. This is gorgeous. For look number three, I am going to be using these two colors right here. So this is the champagne color and the brown chocolatey, you know, beautiful color right here. So I'm just gonna start by applying this. I'm gonna put this dark brown on the lid just right here again. We're starting in the center of the lid. And I'm gonna keep this part of the lid right here, the inner part empty. We're not going to apply color there because I am going to blend out these shades. So I am going to start by using this brush right here. This is just a ColourPop E22. It's a really good blending brush and I'm going to blend this out in my crease. Okay, this one compared to the others blends down faster. Interesting. For a cream shadow, a liquid cream shadow, this I'm impressed with the formula. Like the formula on this is superb. I do, however, like the Stila a lot. You guys know this. I have mentioned it on the channel before, but this one, I'm impressed. Like definitely impressed. So I'm gonna go in with this one right here. This is that beautiful champagne color. I'm gonna take this right here into my inner corner. Okay, that's stunning. And I'm just gonna bring this about a good you know, third to halfway over. Again, close that bottle. Same brush that we're gonna blend it out with. And I'm just going to go in there and just pick up that color and blend all the way over. I'm just tapping right now into that lighter color to give that a good blend. 
So what I noticed was when I was blending the two shades together, they were a little bit hard to blend together. But when you're taking this shade and blending it with, say, just a regular matte formula shadow, honestly, I didn't have any problems with it. But blending the two together, it got a little sticky, a little bit messy, a little bit harder to blend out. But in the end, I think the look is phenomenal. Let me know in the comments down below which look you guys love the best. Let's talk about things that I like about this palette. I like the workability, the speed. Like honestly, it doesn't dry down super, super fast like some other products. So you have that time to really create a look. Like, I mean, you could create a look like a whole eye look in like literally two minutes and be like out the door and it's stunning. Like it's absolutely stunning. I like that. I love the doe foot. I love the color story. And I think it's just beautiful. Let's talk about the price, right? $31 Canadian, it's not horrible, but when you pick up all four shades, you're looking at $124 again. Not horrible for four shades, but this actually only has a three month shelf life. Yes, you heard me right, three months. So I'm gonna have to play with these and let you guys know how this looks in three months time. But I think for something that has a three month shelf life, this is super expensive for what it is. It's stunning, don't get me wrong, but even the Stila ones have a lot longer of a shelf life than three months. So other products like the Danessa Myricks right here, the cream eyeshadow base, which I love. Like this gunmetal is one of my favorite gunmetal shades to put on my eyes for a very dramatic look. I actually wore this to the Bridgerton Ball the other night, but this honestly has a 12 month shelf life. Love that product. This one right here is the Caviar Stick from Laura Mercier, and this one also has a 12 month shelf life on it. This is a cream stick. It's a really pretty formula. This is not as impressive as these. These are impressive, like the colors, pigmentation, beautiful, stunning. If you want someone to stop you on the street and compliment you on your makeup, yeah, it's these, like 100% love this, but it's expensive, don't love that. All right guys, would I recommend it? Should I recommend it? I think it's really pretty, definitely pick one up. I, I'm gonna recommend, out of all four of them, I'm gonna recommend this one right here, the champagne color and the burgundy. Those are my two favorite out of all of them. Go watch my video right now on the brand new Fenty Cream Blush for the holiday season. It's a limited edition and that would look fabulous with this. All right guys, it's right there. Click right there. All right guys, until next time, live, love, and look plus. Bye guys.